Are you ready to take your Nix.js experience to the next level? In this video, we'll dive into Nix.js theming. You won't get a readily themed system, but you will learn how to do it your way. We will use many home manager options, so make sure to check out the home manager video if you haven't seen it already. As you probably already know, there are two major toolkits available for creating graphical user interfaces on Linux, GTK and Qt. GTK is used extensively on GNOME, while Qt is used on KDE. Today, we are going to take a look at theming both of them on NixOS using declarative methods. So let's begin by adding these two lines to our home manager configuration. First one enables GTK, and the second one enables Qt. Unless you want to use a specific engine, theming Qt is very easy. You can just select a name for your Qt theme from the ones that are automatically detected, or define your own package. GTK themes are more interesting though, and we have many more options available. You can change mouse cursor, overall theme, and icon theme. Each of them can take a package and a name. If you want to have a more traditional approach, or have multiple GTK themes that you want to switch between without rebuilding, you can also define these packages in home.filesets. Usually user-defined icons and cursors are stored in .icons directory, so we are going to link a packages.bibata cursors share icons bibata modern classic to icons slash bibata. To ensure that bibata cursors package actually contains the share icons bibata modern classic path, you can use the command from previous video to build it locally and cd into it. Then you can use the following command to visualize all the icon packs provided by this package. All cursor.theme files indicate that those are actually cursor themes. Now you have probably already noticed that Groovebox Plus in my configuration does not come from packages. That is because many of the themes are not packaged in Nix packages. It is instead defined with Latin syntax at the top by importing it from the file in the same directory. Let's take a look at this Groovebox Plus.nix file to learn how we can package our own icons, cursors, and GTK themes. The file itself takes a set with packages as a parameter and returns output of packages.stdenv.makeDerivation. MakeDerivation is an almighty function that is used to build packages in NixOS. All of the packages you see in Nix packages are built with it or similar language-specific ones. This derivation is quite simple though, so let's go through all of the options and see what it does. MakeDerivation takes a set with many key value pairs as its only parameter. Name is just a name for our package, and it doesn't matter much for this use case, so feel free to name it whatever you like. SRC defines a source path that will be used in the installation phase of our package later. We will use the default packages.fetchurl fetcher here, and all it does is download our icon packs zip file and checks the SHA-256 hash to ensure that everything went fine. I've taken this URL from the git releases page of Groovebox Plus icon pack. You can use any other icon pack that you prefer. Ok, but how do I know the correct SHA-256 hash? The simple method is to first run it with a fake one, and after it fails, take a correct one from the error message. But a better way to do it is using a package called Nix Prefetch. As the name suggests, you can use it to prefetch any file and get its SHA hash. In this case it looks like this, and then you just put it in SHA-256 field. To tell Nix that we don't want it to unpack our zip archive, we use the don't unpack option. The install phase works similarly to write shell script bin function from the previous video, except that it also executes the script to install our package. In this context, a couple of variables are also exposed for us. The variable src is the path to the zip archive from the src, and out is the path to the output directory of our derivation. Afterwards, everything becomes simple. We ensure that our directory exists using make dir p option, and then we use the unzip package as binary to extract the content of the zip archive into our output directory. And just like that, we have successfully packaged an icon theme. Let's go back to our home manager configuration file. You can of course use any theme you want, but I've selected the packages.adwgtk3 theme to showcase the amazing capabilities of modern GTK theming. If you didn't know, you can configure your GTK color scheme by editing a gtk.css file in gtk4 in.config. A similar thing exists for GTK3, but it is configured differently, so to make things easier, with adwgtk3, 
You can just simlink your .config slash gtk4 slash gtk.css to .config slash gtk3 slash gtk.css and you will have a beautifully colored Advaita theme with your preferred colors, which you can even generate with Pyval or Nix colors. You can find my gtk.css file in the link in the description, and here is how my setup looks. This is Groovebox, and the window on the left uses gtk3, while the window on the right uses gtk4. As you can see, it looks amazing, and there is no difference in the theming of the two. You can also customize the appearance of your display manager which is the login screen that you see when you turn on your system. We'll take a look at SDDM theming because of its simplicity and a wide selection of available designs. Once again, not many of them are actually packaged in Nix packages, so let's package one ourselves. Create an sddm-theme.nix file in the same directory where your configuration.nix is. And let's make another derivation. I've chosen to package SDDM sugar dark theme, but you can select any other one you like. It's very similar to the previous one, except this time we are using fetch from GitHub to download the entire GitHub repo. It has a different required set of keys, but getting those is as easy as running nix prefetch git and the repo name. This command of course comes from nix prefetch git package. Install phase is also a tiny bit different, because instead of extracting an archive, we copy the contents of current directory, which in this case is going to be our cloned GitHub repo, into the $out directory. $out is of course our output directory, and dash "-r flag here means recursive copying. You can now import your SDDM theme in configuration.nix, and here are the required options that you need to add. But let's go back for a moment. I'm going to show you how you can spice the theme up a bit. We can create a variable at the top that is going to fetch another file, which can be some PNG pictures stored in your GitHub repo. And now, during the install phase, we can actually replace our SDDM background with our image with these simple bash commands. This way, you can edit all the themes to your liking, and with some set commands, even change color or layout elements. Ok, now rebuild and restart to check if the theme is working. If it doesn't, you might need to add a couple of additional packages to your NixOS configuration file. Just like I have added these for sugar dark theme. You should be able to find all of the required dependencies on themes repository, or SDDM itself should tell you which ones you are missing. Here you can see the result, with my favorite Groovebox Mountain Village wallpaper in the background. There is a lot more to Nixos theming, and it is impossible to fit everything in one small video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials. And if you want, you can visit our Discord server. We already have over 50 members there, and it's genuinely a very cozy place. I'd like to thank everybody who watches, likes, shares, and subscribes. Without you, I would surely have no motivation to continue making this video. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.